Hello everyone, this is Sir Enzo Javier and welcome back to another episode of Creative Writing 101. In our previous episodes, we discussed the elements of poetry and the literary devices we can use in writing one. This time, we'll be talking about the tips and steps on how we can actually write one. Did you know, according to Jeff, poem writing is very beneficial for students. Poem writing helps cognitive function, heals emotional pain, reveals greater self-awareness, provides inspiration to others, and helps celebrate things through words. Knowing these, we all can agree that poem writing is really beneficial for everyone. Thus, it's a must try. There are many tips and steps you can find on the internet on how you can write a poem easily. But here are some innovative ones. First, read and listen to a lot of poems. Exposure is a big factor. Get yourself familiar with different types of poems and how they are written and how they sound. With this, you get ideas on how you can play with your own work. Reading poems helps you analyze meaning or sense, while listening to them helps you become familiar on how to use rhyme and rhythm. Second, start small. Practice makes perfect. Begin with short poems, maybe like a couplet or a three-liner poem like haikus or even quatrains. Remember to focus on quality over quantity. It doesn't matter if your poem is long or short as long as the quality is there. Again, focus on your sound and sense. You may start with a free verse poem or if you're finding it hard to put rhymes in your poem, then make it a blank verse. Third, don't obsess yourself on your first line. Many people believe that the first line is the most important part since it will get your reader's attention. But in poetry, it doesn't work that way. Just write whatever comes out of your mind and remember that your emotions and your thoughts are your guide in writing the poem. After all, you can always go back to your first line and change it if you are not satisfied with it. Fourth, embrace tools. Use the internet. There are actually online rhyming dictionaries that you can use to help you with your rhymes. Just make sure that you don't sacrifice your poem's sense just to improve your poem's sound. Also about grammar, you don't have to worry about it too much as we have the so-called poetic license. This is when you bend the rules of grammar just to make your poem artistic in sound and sense. Fifth, enhance the poem with literary devices. We discussed this before and we know that this simply refers to imagery, diction, and figures of speech. These devices help you improve your poem's sound and sense, so make sure you are familiar with this when you're writing your poem. Sixth, try telling a story. Thinking about what to write in your poem may be challenging, but maybe you can begin with just telling a story. This makes your poem narrative, and this makes your poem more engaging for readers. Seventh, paint with words. Use vivid descriptions in your poem. Again, this is done through imagery or the use of descriptive words to help your readers imagine better what you're trying to say. It is using words that appeal to the five senses, the sense of taste, sight, touch, hearing, and smell. For example, instead of writing a rose on hand, you may write a fragrant red rose on my trembling hand. This makes your line more effective and imaginable as the words like fragrant, red, and trembling appeal to the senses of smell and sight, respectively. Eight, familiarize yourself with the different forms of poetry. There are numerous types and forms of poetry, but the two most common categories are narrative and lyric. Narrative poems tell stories, while lyric poetries focus on conveying emotions and sometimes are accompanied by music. And these are the different types of poems under these two categories. However, there are poems that cross the boundaries between these types of poetry. Thus, awareness to these forms is very important. And remember, knowing what type of poem you're writing helps you craft it more effectively. Ninth, choose the topic that you love. What are you most interested about? This gives you focus and frees you to the burden of writing a poem to a topic that you're not familiar with or a topic that you're not interested about. So again, make sure that you are interested about the topic you're writing. Finally, of course, edit your poem before publishing it. Are you done? Are you satisfied with it? Have you said everything you want to say? 
These are some questions you can ask yourself. It will also help if you ask someone like a friend or your parent to read and review your poem. After all these, you may write the final version of your poem and post it or submit it to your teacher if you must. Once again, those are some of the innovative ways that can help you write your poem. If you know something or you practice something that helps you write your poems effectively, you may comment that below. And that's it for this episode. Thank you again for staying with me until the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you would be updated for our next episodes. Once again, this is our Angie Javier and this is Creative Writing 101.